Good to have you join us. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Austin Okonakwa. We're counting down to the end of 2017. Yes, and the year is gradually slipping away as sport fans are counting their blessings and others are asking questions. How can we get better in 2018? We're still uh, taking comments as regards to the one review of sports in Nigeria in 2017. Uh, keep it coming on Twitter channels, on the sports, Facebook channels, I feel sports on the show tonight. We'll be having... Uh, um, a review of football in Nigeria in 2017. Yes, everyone is excited that the Super Eagles of Nigeria qualified for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Uh, what should the Federation do uh, to improve women's football? What do they also need to do to consolidate on the progress of league football in the country? What should we do to avoid the mistake that happened with the Sheo Abdullahi era? A lot of those talking points will get our attention tonight on the program. Uh, the president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Amadou Pinik, will be joining us later on the show. We'll dissect all of the issues that our football brought before us in 2017. Walk with us on this journey. It's going to be an interesting one tonight on the show. It's a Thursday night. Sonny Young is standing by in Washington, D.C. We'll be hearing from Sonny as the year winds down. What is Sonny expecting? The NBA is still getting a lot of us talking. Sonny, we break it down for us tonight on the program. I see Odwanyo Adikroye in the news. She's having a fantastic 2017. And for Odwanyo, she wants to keep the momentum going in 2018. So that's the look of the show tonight because we're going to be having a lot of football talk in Nigeria uh, today on the program. So let's quickly bring you into everything because tonight I want us to do the show together. So when the president of the NFF is here, we will be throwing questions at him. Yes, we'll be asking him questions uh, that can develop football in Nigeria. So tonight on channels television, talk to us. Our feedback mechanism is still the same. Uh, just in case you don't know, that's it right there on Twitter. We're channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. You can also send us an email to sports tonight at channels tv.com let's hear from you sports in nigeria in 2017 what were the major talking points for you and if you're a big fan of football in nigeria yes i know our nigerians love their football they follow it religiously this is your night we want to review football in nigeria in 2017 so talk to us that's it right there twitter channels on the sports facebook channels i think sports all our top stories can also be viewed on our website it's channels tv.com and on youtube for slash channels web if you log on to m.channelstv.com, you'll be able to download the Channel TV app for your iPad, your iPhone, your Blackberry, your iOS, your Windows phones, and your Android phones. It's just simple. Log on to m.channelstv.com, download that app, and you'll be part of what's going down tonight on the program. Sports tonight on Channel Television. Let's welcome uh, Tolu Olorumote. He joins us now live uh, in the studio. Tolu, good to have you on Sports tonight. Great to be here again, Austin. Mm. Uh, and a beautiful week of uh, sports, football, and everything going on across the globe. That's right. Let's begin. I'll catch up with what's going on with uh, uh, former, yes, former Super Eagles uh, goalkeeper uh, Vincent and Yes, Remember, I uh, retired due to some of the issues that came up right there when he was still playing for the country. Uh, Vincent and Yamaya is set to join struggling French club Angers. Yes, when the transfer, uh, when the general transfer window opens, the Yamaha is expected to replace Angers second choice goalkeeper Matthew Michel, who is close to a return to lower division side uh, Nimes Olympique. Uh, reports say Angers must splash 500,000 euros uh, to 1 million uh, to land a Yamaha who has 18 months left on his current deal with Lille. The 2013 AFCON winner have been out of football for seven months owing to knee injury. I told you now, a lot of persons will start talking again that if, once Vincent Yamaha seals his deal, you start playing regularly, and that he can give a give him give we can give him a shot for the World Cup. Well, that would never go off, Austin. So mm. long as Yama continues to, uh, you know say that he's open to a recall, that will never go off. And the World Cup coming uh, with uh, a lot of people not particularly convinced about uh, the ability of Ike Chukwe Zenwa and uh, uh, Daniel Akpeyi not particularly taking his chances. And now, the Francis Uzoho who played 45 good minutes against Argentina not getting a lot of game time. If Ayama is back playing games, definitely Austin, the mm. questions will be back. That's right. So, uh, we'll continue to monitor that one. Um, when it's done, we will talk about it. We'll let you know. But uh, it seems to be good news. Win-win for the Nigerian goalkeeper yeah. uh, who has been there, done that. Uh, we go keeping in the country. Let's get on with the show. Now, talk about wrestling. This name got us talking all year long. Odwayo Adekurie can she stop winning? No, I don't think so. And that's what she hopes to continue doing in 2018. Nigeria's just sensational wrestler. That's uh, uh, wearing uh, red right there. Odwayo Adekurie has been named the 2017 history maker by the United World Wrestling. 
Adekroy ranked number one in Africa and third in the world, was bestowed the title by uh, the, the United World Wrestling owing to her notable performances uh, in wrestling this year. What a story Oduanyo is having. Uh, one Sportswoman of the Year, Nigerian Sports Award, yeah. uh, has been here, done that, won a silver medal at the World Championships. History maker of the year by the world, not Africa, yeah. United World Wrestling. Tells a lot of the talent of this lady. And it equally shows that she has been improving because in 2015, she got to the semi-final and she came, came back with a bronze. She lost mm. there. This is the first time she has gotten a shot at the final. Yes, she lost. She, she got a silver medal eventually. But yeah, she made history yeah. because she became the first African as, uh, as well as the uh, Moroccan American to go that far in women's wrestling. And this is what we expect. You can only get better. That's right. And that is what exposure has done mm. to her career. That is what playing, uh, fighting consistently in, in the Indian uh, Wrestling League That's right. has done to her career. She's been making a lot of progress and credits to her for being nominated as, of course, one of the history makers of the year. That's right. Sounds so good. Adwaya uh, Adekroye in her third season now in the Indian Professional yeah. League. Uh, and there's a new club. Her first, first season, she went there. She dazzled, beat everybody. everybody. Got another <laughs> club. Defeated everybody. And now Mumbai Maharati, they said, look, you're doing so well. Come for a third season. And I know she'll keep winning. Look, you... You, the, the numbers speak for themselves. Mm. You can't, if you left the shores of Nigeria with so little experience and you go out there to do that, it shows that you are a talent, one they should put an eye on. Now she is no longer in the category of a talent. She, is, she has done it. She has seen it. And she is a world champion by all standards also. So, hey, why not give her a better shot at the better, uh, the better uh, size? And let's see what she can pull off. And I'm, I'm, I'm definitely she won't disappoint. That's right. Or do I a decree, take a bow. Uh, she's been a sensation for wrestling in Nigeria, a good role model for upcoming uh, talents, yeah. and she is so optimistic. She wants to win a medal at the Olympics, so she has put 2020 as a target for her. So she goes to the Commonwealth Games, does what she can do, and then come back and start preparing for Tokyo 2020. But she cannot do it alone. She needs the support of her country. She needs the support of the Federation. She needs the support of you and I. And um, that's the only way. Support, 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 and she'll keep winning. Sports tonight on Channels TV. When Sonny Young is ready, we'll be traveling to Washington, D.C. to have Sonny Young talk to us because Sonny Young is also fired up to do this with us tonight. But our uh, news just in, let's let you know that WBA and IB, uh, IBF World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua and WBA World Heavyweight Champion Joseph Parker. We're talking about unifying this heavyweight division for a long time now. Both boxers are set to have a unification fight in the spring after a deal was reached over how to split the process. I tell you, it's all about the money. For these big guys to come out of fight, it's all about the money. But this sounds good, uh, Tolu. Um, Parker was reportedly demanding 40% uh, with Joshua's promoter at the hand, offering him half of that. But Parker's promoter says a compromise has been reached to, uh, to end the New Zealander between 30 to 35. So once they accept it, we're going to have a fight. Yeah, it still looks like good money. I mean, 40% seems a whole lot to ask for in the very first place. But hey, 30% uh, is not bad either, considering that this is Anthony Joshua we're talking about, the mm. world heavyweight champion. Uh, he's, he's smashing all records, still unbeaten, uh, if not because of the controversial circumstances in which uh, the fight against Carlos Takam ended in Cardiff a couple of weeks ago. He could have, uh, you know, still kept his uh, uh, unblemished uh, uh, knockout records, you know, intact. Mm. However, uh, a unification bout with against uh, Joseph Parker is won everyone in the boxing world has been looking forward to. And then we can now talk about a fight against uh, Deontay Wilder, which should be coming up pretty shortly after this bout goes down. But hey, Joseph Parker is another big name in mm -hmm. the ca in the category. Yeah, he's a world I mean, champion. He's a world champion, mm. and he's going to be a credible opponent for uh, Anthony Joshua. He continually looks soft. Yet yeah, he keeps taking opponents out. Uh -huh. He's not as ferocious as Deontay Wilder, yeah. but he's been doing ju uh, ju business. He's been doing justice to the, uh, every, every opponent that comes across his way. So yeah, right. Anthony Joshua may be looking underrated these days, particularly uh, concerning the way he the bout uh, with Carlos Takam mm. and uh, Klitschko went down. But hey. Is Anthony Joshua. He is not world champion for nothing. He got there by defeating his opponents. I, I think we should show him some respect. And that's right. There's love coming from Tulu uh, for Anthony Joshua. Yes, but we're getting ready because a lot of boxing fans are waiting. And uh, once this Joseph Parker and Anthony Joshua is out of the way, they'll be having Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. This time around, there's no escaping that.